Well, hi there. Welcome back to DGTV. Thanks for joining us on the channel. Well, today I've got another new product introduction from the team at TourEdge. They've recently released the 523 family. The 523 model range is available in two different model types, the C523 and the E523. We know the Tour Edge product family, if you want forgiveness, well, the 523 family is the one for you, but we give you options for competitive or extreme forgiveness. If you want that little bit more better players look, but you still need all of the benefits of forgiveness, well, the C523 might be the one for you. I've got it right here. And in a minute, I'll show you the E523. If you want extreme forgiveness in a great looking package, well, maybe the E523 is the one from you. I'm gonna quickly take you through the highlights of the C and the E. Okay, let's have a look at this driver here from Tour Edge, the C523. As I said, that package, when I look down at address, it really is confidence inspiring, so nice, slightly neater, but still obviously a very forgiving, package. We can see the weight position right down back. We know when we've got weight out here at the back of the club, that's giving you the MOI, that stability through the strike. So we've got the weight down low and down back to really help you launch and give you the forgiveness that you need. There are some other key technologies that you want to know about in terms of distance. We want to give you the maximum distance. VFT face technology, variable th thickness, and diamond technology in here as well. So there's mini diamond trampolines underneath there, giving you the best access to ball speed off a variety of strikes. That is what's helping you up front here, as is this new and improved power channel at the front here. So we've got forgiveness down the back, ball speed up the front, and a great looking package all over. Really really is confidence inspiring in that C523 driver. All right, let's take a look at the C523 driver in motion. You can hear what it sounds like. And try and hit a couple up here, the 18th fairway at Spring Valley. It certainly looks great. But of course that extends into the fairway wood as well. This fairway wood is a great looking fairway. Tour Edge are known for producing some of the best looking fairways across the industry. And this one is no exception to that. A nice shallow face design with some score lines. That score lines help frame up the ball when you've got the club on the ground, ready to hit. It does give you that confidence that you can see the loft. That really does help. Power channel, VFT, diamond face technology, and the rear weight, really a range of fairways to help you hit the ball further straighter with a great deal more consistency if that's what you need. And that is also in the hybrid family, a nice compact design, score lines on the front there, weight down the back there, the power channel, the VFT, the diamond face, all designed to help you get the best out of the C523 hybrid, which will complement nicely with your driver and fairway. But also what will complement nicely if you need a new set of irons to really fill out your bag, you can dial that in when you get custom fit, how many hybrids you need, how many irons you need, and this iron could be a game changer. If you want forgiveness in a better player's concept, well, this is the one for you. It's still got enough offset there to help you square the face and to make the best strike, but we've got a little stronger loft, we've got a little bit of toe weighting there, again, helping you maximize that strike We've got a more generous sole geometry here, so it's going to work through the turf on a variety of conditions and a variety of strikes. As I said, a bit of offset, but really this deep undercut cavity, this cavity at the back, the perimeter weighting, extreme perimeter weighting in fact, is really what's helping you get the best out of the variety of strikes. We don't always hit them out of the centre, sometimes we get them out of the toe and out of the heel and we want those ones to go as far as possible and not lose distance, well this club is all about that. But when we do that, Vibercore technology, we've heard about that in Tour Edge before, giving that softness and that feel and that sound in the cavity there. So you don't have to sacrifice that just because we've got a more game improvement oriented iron, you don't have to sacrifice feel and sound performance in this great performance package here. It really is confidence inspiring when I put that in the address position. Okay, let's have a look at the C523, that slightly more competitive model as I just said. It is going to help you get the ball up in the air, get it down the fairway with a great deal of confidence. You can see that that wider sole, again, just allowing you to bounce that club through the grass there, minimizing those bad chunks that you want to avoid. Let's try and get this one down this way. Oh, I didn't hit that one very well, but it still went nice and straight. 
So you can hear that sound that I talked about there before. It really does sound great. I'm not taking a big divot. I'm not a big divot taker, but the ball's just popping up nicely, heading down towards the target. Really like it. Caught that a bit heavy, but it's still going the same distance as the rest of them. Let's hit one more. Uh, if you're wondering, this is the uh, Strixon Divides. They're a, they're a great ball for visual, visual help as well. Great soft feel ball. Okay, let's go and pick those up. And there's the range of super spin wedges that complement this family. I'll put a picture of those up. Wonderful looking teardrop inspired wedge design. You can see that there, I'll show you those. And there is a product in the C523 from top to bottom end of your bag, if that's what you need. We can help you understand that when you get custom fit. Now, let's take a look at the extreme forgiveness model. If you wanna hit more fairways, if you wanna get your ball flying further, well, maybe the E523 is the one for you, and there's some great things in that which will help you do that. Okay, here is the E523 family. Now, it still looks fantastic at address, but there are some components here that I need to tell you about why it's going to help you hit more fairways and hit a little bit further. Yes, we've got further distance because we've got the diamond face, the VFT and that power channel giving you the best ball speed across a variety of the strikes. So very forgiving face, very high ball speed face. We've got that ridge back design. So that's working in concert with the face there to really give you the energy up front where you need it. But because this is a little bit more generous in its length from front to back, we've got the Houdini sole at the back. So we've got extreme rear weight, extreme forgiveness. And when we need to help our slices become a little straighter, we've got the weight down here in this draw position. So we're used to seeing all of these anti-slice clubs with the weight down here in the heel to help you square the club face. So that is what the E523 can offer you. You can see it's a great looking club there. And it's going to help you hit it straighter and further and find more fairways. And that's a key to helping you play better golf. But one of the other keys is having a bag of clubs that will do all of that for you. Yes, the E523 fairway and hybrid are beautiful clubs that complement that extreme forgiveness model. But what I love about this fairway and the hybrid, and I'll just hold the fairway up for a moment to talk to it, is this beautiful low profile fairway. When you sit this behind the ball in the fairway, in the rough, you know that you can get that under the ball and getting the best contact. The uh, Houdini sole technology with the weight at the back, that's going to help that club stay square as possible off the fairway or off the tee. And this V sole design here just allows that club to work in under the ball to really help you get the ball contact maximized on every possible strike. And as I said there before, the VFT, the uh, diamond face technology, the power channel, and the weight in that heel position there, all designed to help you hit straighter shots. That is the same for the hybrid there. You can see that there. Great looking, very forgiving hybrids and fairways to match into your set. But the one club that I think is going to be the big game changer for a lot of people when they look at the E523 is this iron. Now it's hybrid iron technology, you could say. It's a hollow design in this fuller body, but that doesn't mean that when you place this club at address, it looks anything other than a really confidence inspiring iron. The way that it's been designed with this top line really does cover this hybrid sole back here, and it just looks like a beautiful iron, but you get all of the performance benefits of this hybrid iron design. The wide sole with the weighting at the toe, the offset, the Houdini sole, really all designed to do one thing, higher ball flight, longer distance, straighter, more accurate shot making, if that's what you need. I can't wait to have a little bit of a hit of this because uh, for me, it really does look like a great iron. Okay, let's have a hit of the E5237 iron. You can see, as I just mentioned, all that great technology in there. As I practice swing that, you can hear that connection with the turf that really is designed to get that club bouncing on the ground and maximize that strike. I'm just gonna pitch one up here just towards that green and you'll be able to get an idea of the sound, how well this is going to go. So easy to hit. Didn't take a lot of divot there, but I didn't need to. It popped up nice and high and went absolutely laser straight. 
it's so easy to hit. You can see there that I'm really not putting a lot of effort into that, that beautiful graphite shaft, which is probably not my spec, it's a regular spec, but it's popping up nice and high and just going down the fairway. So easy and it sounds fantastic. That's one thing that I love about hitting this club. It's really going to help you if you've been playing golf with conventional irons, with an older set of irons, and you haven't experienced the benefits of high flight, straighter distance from a hybrid iron, and you need that help to get your scores going down, well, maybe this is the one that you can check out when you come in for a fitting. And of course, another really exciting part of this set up here, sorry, I've already been having a couple of chips in preparation because I like the look of this, is this E523 wedge system. This is the 56 degree sand wedge, 56 degrees of loft or sand wedge. You can call it whichever way you want to do, the 56 or the sand, but really it's all about making this easy to play the short game with. We've got the full groove technology on the front, grooves all the way across the face. It's got this cavity undercut design here and that really gives you the benefit of this full sole. This Houdini sole, again, helping you maximize the strike on those short shots. If you chunk it and flub it, well, if you're using a wedge that's not really suited to your game, that's not gonna help you. This wedge can help you out of the sand. It's gonna help you get that club into the sand and popping back out of the sand and not digging deeply. It really is a great product designed to help you. If you struggle with the short game, well, this could be the game changer. The rest of the clubs will help you get the ball near the green and this might help save you a shot or two around. And if we can get that happening for you with the E523, you're gonna be really happy with your Tour Edge product. Okay, so let's show you how versatile this 56 degree sandwich in the E523 is. A couple of chips here around the green here at 18th on Spring Valley in Melbourne Sandbelt. Play a couple of out of the bunkers just to show you that this stuff really does work. Now that was the shot that would usually scare me when I'm playing a competitive round for score. Uh, I, I'm pretty happy with that. That just popped up nicely, spun, had a little bit of check on it. There you go. So I could probably leave uh, the demonstration of this sandwich at that. It's a great club. You can see that ball there, that um, Shrixen uh, ball rolling down there. It got a bit of spin, checked up and popped up in the hole. Pretty good. Okay, so I got that one a he bit heavy and you can see it's still gonna feed down there. It landed on the green even though I chunked it. Maybe with a club without that Houdini sole, that chunk might have been a flub and it might not have made the green. So at least there I've still got potentially a one putt. That is how this type of club, if your short game isn't up to par, well that's how this sort of club can help you. Those chunks just become a little bit more effective. And it could be the difference between having another chip or having a putt, which might be an easier proposition, but generally you'd think putting is better than chipping again if you struggle with your chipping. Well this one is going to help. This is a scary proposition for some developing golfers getting out of the bunker. Well, this club here, this sand wedge is 56 degree with the Houdini sole in the E523 wedge is designed to make these shots easier to help you get the ball on the green and not leave the next one in the bunker. So you can see how easy that just went through the sand the bounce worked the club back up through the sand and it went up there and had spin on it. Let's try that again. Not too much open face required here. So I'm just gonna let the face and the loft of the club do the work. Again, that just popped that out so easy. It's a five and a half foot bunker face here. That's a scary proposition for some golfers, but really this club with this wide generous sole in this soft sand belt sand, really did work through and give me a great result. Now, let's find a little bit of harder pack sand. There's some hard pack sand here, there's been a little bit of moisture. We'll show you that it works off that as well. Sometimes a challenging proposition for some golfers, but this wedge is going to really get under that ball there and allow me to get it nice and up and out easily. Just picked it off there. Not as much sand because it's a harder pack lie, but it really, that leading edge just got under the ball so easily. Got a little bit of 
sand under it there and just pop the ball out. This really does make it very easy. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a demonstration of the benefit of this type of technology in this type of wedge from Tour Edge. It can help your game if you struggle with your short game. Out of the bunker, chipping, it really does work. That isn't going to hinder you, it's only going to help you. And of course, a really important part of your two edge fitting is getting fit for shaft appropriateness. Whether you need a graphite shaft or a steel shaft, there are options in the C&E 523. And this hot launch shaft has been specifically designed in conjunction with the team at Two edge by UST Mamia. So there's no shortcuts in terms of the components that put this range together. Yes, and you can see here, I'll talk to it while I've got it up, the Lampkin grip. Lampkin grips used by some of the best golfers in the world. And in the shaft technology, you can see here, we've got the True Temper XP85. And this one has been widely used as a lighter, high launching shaft across a number of brands in the industry. Well, we've got that componentry here in the Two Edge product. Yes, of course, with the Lampkin grip, which as part of your fitting, we're going to fit that grip to the size of your hand. That is the Two Edge range. It's been fantastic showing you it. I can't wait to see you using it out on course. Thanks for joining us on DGTV. We'll see you next time. Until then, play well.